Mm-hmm. What do you miss about the business? Um, I mean, get, getting fucked. <laughs> <laughs> so let's talk about your study of sex in civilian world. Well, I was in a relationship for a while and he, uh, he was good. Okay. It was a good one. So that, that kept you there. Yeah. Did you have any, other than being in the relationship, did you have any random encounters? Like, cause I've realized like some guys can really step up to the plate. There's no doubt. But in the big picture, it doesn't necessarily last as long as it does on set. No. The guy can't hold back from coming with the guy on set. Right. Exactly. So you get shortchanged a bit of time. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And then also, there's things that happen. And I'm a a greedy bitch. Like, I just, I want to fuck and fuck and fuck and fuck. And there's also the issue of it's very hard to arrange group activity at home where it's like, do I want to get a hotel room? Do I want to deal with that? Do I want all these people at my house? Are they going to get along with each other? Right. Is anybody going to rob me? Right, exactly. (laughs) Well, that's why you always get a hotel room. (laughs) Always get a you hotel. Gotta, you gotta fucking just think it through, you know. And, it's and not like, easy. I don't want to squirt in my fucking house. No, like, no, like that that's shit is hotel for the hotel. Shit. Yeah, I always think of that when I'm in a hotel. So yeah, that's that's definitely a difference in the off camera sex. Yeah, definitely a difference. I find uh, a little bit more challenging, though. I've been pretty lucky. I think the fact that people can watch tape you know, and study what you like really does help us. Oh, it does. Really does. does. You can always tell when somebody's watched tape as well. In my discovery, in my, um, you know, my couple years off, I've learned that I generally like bad dudes because of the sex that I'm into. Like it attracts like warped people. Right. And I'm warped when it comes to like my sexuality. Right. So So it's kind of like I have to watch out. You should just stay single and fuck Fuck these crazy fuckers. You know, it's kind of like this is not the guy you bring home to mom kind of thing. Right. If you're so fucking you don't me good, I can't bring you home. Like you're you're probably I will. Yeah. I can agree with you because yes. some of the best sex I've had have been some of the people that I never wanted to bring around my friends. And I just didn't. Right. So I was like I'm not going to be with this person. And when I bring somebody around my friends, to me that's someone admitting I'm with them. Right. Totally. Right. Totally. Okay, yeah, I'm not with these people. They're fucking Mm-mm. nuts, but we have the best sex ever and it's right. it's very toxic. There has to be a balance. There definitely has to be a balance. Now, what I've realized too, getting out of the business, taking a break, I realized that I'm definitely a sexual being. Yeah. Definitely a more sexual being than other people. As a matter of fact, I read an article the other day that said the average person only has sex 50 times a year. It's like less than once a week. That's like. That's so sad. I I know. I hope that if that's the case, we're at least helping you in some way. This is the life I chose. 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 Chose.